Representatives from the State Museum visited Ms. Dupree's classroom at Rice Creek to share some information about a special project at the museum and to give the students a chance to be a part of history. But the best part about what you guys are about to do is y'all are going to help us name our shark. It's a three-ton megalodon. It's a replica. It's not a real shark, but it hangs above the second floor at the museum. The students learned how the shark was created and delivered to the museum 25 years ago and each student was given their very own shark's tooth as a souvenir. He's just a big replica. A local artist made him for the museum. These are real shark teeth. Using their one-to-one -one computers, each student logged onto the museum site to cast their vote for the new name. And Merrick McAfee said she is impressed with the student's knowledge and access to technology in the classroom. I never even saw a computer in my classroom except for maybe the Oregon Trail, you know, on one of those old PCs. Um, so this is really cool and the fact that they're so young and they know how to use this technology, it's really impressive to me. Third grade student Harley Forsyth, who voted for Meg, said she has seen the shark at the museum and is very impressed with the hanging display. I thought it was pretty cool because it was hanging from the ceiling from strings and I'm like, that looks pretty heavy. Terrell Felder's name choice was Finn, and he believes being a part of this project will mean a lot to him in the future when he visits the museum. Because you see a shark, like if you're like, like 100 years old, and then you came to the museum to remind you if you were like this little, it'll remind you of the shark that you saw when you were little. When you get students like this, this age, excited about things that they may not know about, like a megalodon prehistoric shark, and put it on their level where they get, get to actually choose a name of, of a big creature that they may not be able to identify with. It's just a, a new way to connect them to learning opportunities that they may not have before. The State Museum is celebrating their 25th anniversary and as part of the festivities, the shark is donning a birthday hat. The new name for the shark chosen by the public will be announced on October 26th at the State Museum celebration.